Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 40s World, where we talk about celebrities and celebrities' comments and goings. All right, we got Simon here. Yes, we got Simon Gubaria and Portia Williams. Yes, we got them here. They're looking fabulous. But I want y'all to pay attention. Y'all zoom down at the feet. Simon Gubaria. Yes got those shiny stacy adams <laughs> i don't know if they or they flourish them i don't know what kind of shoes that is but he is paying attention the brother looks very dapper i don't know what push keep doing with these uh face tunes though i ain't impressed i mean i really want to see the real man the real man i don't want to see no edited shit okay just like we know Portia edit her stomach because she got a little pooch but i ain't gonna upset the moment i was just i was just saying let me go see what papa's doing let me go see what aka father time is doing i haven't been on his ass lately and i just want to say what's going on dude but i like the look i like the black the solidness see that's what i'm saying you stick with me you go far with the fashion man with the fashions love it love it love it love it i can't say no more i think you should have had a bow tie on or you should have had that uh top with a, a tie or a uh, what do you call that a bow tie on because it's just been festive you know what i'm saying it, it kind of seems like you have dress unless you're coming from an event then you open up your um your your, your shirt like that and, and could we have not gotten another shirt i'm tired of seeing the white shirt now simon now we got to pull up now you don't got one third of the outfit looking good okay you got you took care of them shoes i'm like don't ever let me see you with them buckle shoes again with a suit okay i just said don't look good don't look good the ethics no, not the ethics, the optics don't look good. But I got to say, God damn, Simon, you look good. You look good. And I don't know if that's a car that you done borrowed behind the two of you all, or one of your family members, or one of your people you're uh, house sitting their cars for. Don't get in no accident now. Don't get in no accident, Simon. I hope you got insurance or uh, what do you call a house, those type of ho uh, cars. Don't be putting all that mileage on them people's cars either. They told you to keep them. Don't sport around in them. Keep them, watch over them until they get back to the states, okay? So, but <laughs> I ain't got nothing but good things to say with you, Simon. <laughs> ah, old chap looking pretty good. Looking decent over there. Um, but you know, you kind of, you know, the slacks are kind of like they folding up on you. So I need you to go to a tailor and, and next next time get the shit straightened out now. Because we expect that from young people, like people in high school or college, you know, but you're a businessman. You, you're uh, worth millions of billions of dollars. So we need you to uh, tighten up on them uh, pants, legs. Okay, at the bottom, they, they're kind of looking kind of, you know, disheveled. But... <laughs> I'm just glad you got them shoes together, brother. I'm just so glad you got shoes together. I mean, are them Scooby-Doo's? Tell me, those are shoes. All right? Like Jay-Z says, got to get you some Scooby-Doo's. Those are shoes. <laughs> but yes, yes, I like the uh, the accent of the uh, red uh, handkerchief out your, uh, out your little, the pocket of the jack coat. Mm hmm of uh, the uh, blaze you got on Simon yes you kind of look like Christmas colors but you know it is it is what it is I have to give it to you when I see it I have to give it to you when I say you're showing up and showing out okay but just a little for just a little few touches here and there you know take that suit to the tailor and tell him to give it to you where your uh pants leg is coming just a little bit over your shoes you know what i'm saying just a little bit because you don't want to be high in water you know what i'm saying you don't want to wear them skinny suits and stuff that they wouldn't fit you they wouldn't look good on you any of that 
And like I said, no pinstripes, no, no, no solid colors with pinstripe. Okay, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that. But the solids, I love it. You were in a blue suit before when you're over there in Dubai, trying to make it do what it do. I don't know what the hell you were doing over there. Maybe you were handling some business, or maybe you done for pleasure. But I didn't like you being a. Uh, 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 you should have had some socks on when you was messing around in those floors, uh, not knowing, you know, what you could pick up off those nasty floors. Okay germs and things of that nature okay everybody ain't clean everybody ain't clean something don't bring it home no diseases uh because you just didn't do your due diligence and protect your skin while you were over there in dubai okay next time you go over there i want you to have some some slippers okay some slippers uh you know comfort ones the ones that uh dr shows makes or you know because you're elderly now we don't want you to have any infractions over there i want you to Go, uh, go over there and see, conquer whatever, and come on back, okay? We don't want you to be hurting for anything. But, you know, you keep walking on barefooted floors, uh, places that you don't know of. <sighs> it's such a disservice to yourself and to the uh, Portia and the rest of the family, okay? Because they don't need you to be sick. They don't need you to be sick, Simon, okay? Because those cigars... I ain't going to say they're going to kill you, but I'm like, I don't, I don't understand why you smoking them as heavy as you do. I, I, then I thought about it. So, well, maybe he got nerve problems. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he got nerve problems. That's why he always have a cigar in his mouth. And I seen it when, um, Portia don't care too much for you smoking them cigars the way you do either. Because when she had that um, show she was on, starring her and you, uh, and trying to blend families together, uh, you had to go back to the room or something where y'all had just made a fool out of y'all sales. A really poor shade made a fool out of sales. And just talking about the comes and goings. And then she said, you finna smoke again? And he was like, he looked at you, got his lighter, and puffed up. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, girl, but I know. I know you better tell him. You better see, show him a heart that had uh, lung disease because of smoking. And then you show him a healthy heart. Because you're going around him putting, uh, what do you call that, uh, st uh, stats up of his blood pressure rate, his B BMI rate, body index weight, and all this. And then he's smoking cigars. I mean, it, it, no, no, Simon, don't go together, okay? Healthiness does not go with putting nicotine in your body okay that's a bad thing and so you have a habit you have this bad habit of smoking all the time and yes you do smoke good good cigars okay but uh yeah we all gonna die of something true that true that but it's, it doesn't make any sense that you're uh trying to exercise you're trying to eat correctly and then you mess it up by throwing that cigar in your mouth okay that's not good not good not good at all so we need you to pull up on that situation if you want to be here for a longer time than expected but like i said nobody really knows when their last day is up when their last uh breath will be taken so but you know just to be on cautious side i'm sure portia wants you here for a lifetime which we know that's not going to be true but she wants you here when she's done retired herself uh from taking pictures and getting out of uh the social scene and y'all just want to have y'all little uh rocking chairs on the porch and you know just telling lies and stories or whatever you do when you get in that age of retirement or really you're supposed to be retired before your 80s you know what i'm saying but um don't seem like uh father time do anything anyway but house it car so he's almost pretty much retired anyway when he has something of uh, uh, of employment that he's doing that uh yeah but uh yeah <laughs> i like i like it simon ah, when i saw that i was like god damn he did listen to me he did listen to me now i'm pretty sure you got compliments all day long all day all uh night long and i tried to figure out where they were at but um they were celebrating shamia portia best friend for now um uh, birthday party I'm guessing. Hell, I don't know. But I got pictures over there, too. But I, I'll show y'all that on another video. But, yes. Uh, uh -huh. I see. Okay, you had to go for a little celebration uh, when they were, you know, shouting up. I could have sworn, damn, didn't, didn't Shamia have a birthday party at her, at her house? It was just a housewarming gift party. Hell, I don't know. But I think it was her birthday because she had a birthday cake and all that kind of good stuff. So, I don't know. Maybe she's celebrating, you know, 
as many times as she possibly can. Who knows? You know, when you got it like that, you flaunt it like that. But most people that got it like that, they don't show. They don't show and prove. They don't, they don't want you to know nothing what they got or they're not going to show you their life. It's always going to be just for the family and, and, and special good friends, but don't post it on social media. See, them the ones that really are doing something. Everything is incognito. Something like Beyonce. She lets you see what she wants you to see at what given time. Same thing for Prince and uh, who is that? And Michael J. Uh, Michael Jackson, that is. You, you, you just didn't get pictures of them because, you know what I'm saying? They had to put it out there for a certain reason. And, and you know, it's, it's not a collage of them out there. It's just here and there, you know, spat, splattered around. Uh, you know, once a year, maybe a couple of during a year or something to that nature. But I said that to say this, I'm damn proud of some. Yes, I am. You, I never thought that would come out of my mouth. But, hey, he's showing up. He's looking presentable. And I like it. But next time, Simon, uh, unless you're taking this picture right here, after you done came from an event, I need you to tighten up, put your bow tie up there. Or put you a tie, okay? We don't want you to be showing that chest of your, uh, unless it was after the event. You see what I'm saying? If it was before the event, you should have had your t the bow tie. That would look cute on you too, or a long tie, okay? If you can't get with a long tie because of the, uh, what do you call it, the hanging thing. I understand. Get you a bow tie. They look very pretty. Very pretty. Come in different colors, too. And like I said, y'all trying to dress in Christmas colors already. You should have had a green tie on. You know what I'm saying? Then you had to have the green uh, handkerchief. But since Portia was trying to match you two up. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, good job. Good job, Simon. That's all I got for this video, guys. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.